That note cuts straight to the heart of things, don't it? Let's see what's going on. The note says it plain. Zia, go east to learn the truth about the calamity and our people. I'll be waiting. Sincerely, Zulf. Finding gourmet ingredients ain't easy these days, but we'll take what we can get. <laughs> Zulf's messenger was one of his people. Wonder just how many of them survived, and what exactly Zolf told him. All right, we should have a shard. Oh yes, I am. Uh... I'm gonna turn off the uh, extra hardness since I'm not doing too great. It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. Kid arrives just in time to sample Zia's famous cooking. Hmm. Forgot what that does in a second. The arsenal's complete, in case we need protection. Let's see what this does. He wolfs down too much too fast, and it all goes to his head. Uh, it replaces the, uh, the pipe, and takes me to the who knows where. I've said a lot about the kid, but he ain't the only one wrapped up in all this. Whoa, it's kind of different now. What's he thinking? Now, let me see if I got this straight. I only heard it once. Once there was a normal Ura girl, but she wasn't born in the Tazzle Terminals like the rest of her people. She was from Ceylandia. Damn it! Her folks were orphaned in the war, taken in and raised inside the city on condition they would never return to the terminals. Ura refugees who came into the city had to stay for life. It was a way to reduce the risk of city secrets leaking out. away from birth and complications, leaving the girl trapped inside that city with no one but her father. sharper than a brusher's pike, so he got a job working for the city's mansers. His daughter barely saw him. 
Ah, crap. My worst enemy. The frog. <laughs> her father told her nothing of her Ura heritage. He told her nothing of the Mansers. It's for your own good, he said. She took to studying the arts, learned more through music than history books, gained a knack for strings and songs. At first, she tried to be like other girls, but her classmates spread word that her father was an Ura traitor, selling out the city. <laughs> One young man stood up for her, or so he led her to believe. He knew much of her heritage and she grew fond of him. Oh, crud. Come on, buddy. Let's do this. Got two of them. That's not good. Not good at all. Let's separate them. There we go. Oh, second too early. All right, Fatty, come on. Ugh. The young man never told her that the Ura's native language is not to be used by foreigners. To do so is a terrible insult. Damn it. Damn it. Oh. Well, you know how it goes. I was healing too, but it went right before I pressed the button. It was then that she decided to escape. The two of them could flee the city together and go to the Tassel terminals. inside a garbage bin until it got ingested by a scumbag, then let him slosh on out of the city for disposal. Two of them, huh? Wonderful. I like many ones, I think. Uh, 
Ah. One down. Yeah. The plan almost succeeded, but the authorities were already there when that scumbag sidled up to the city walls. The young man had sent the authorities a tip, told him her father was using her to sell secrets to the Tazzle terminals. Dang it. <laughs> Stop it. She and her father were arrested for treason, but her father got a deal. Return to work for the Mansers, and she'd go free. Before they parted ways for the last time, her father whispered a desperate plea. Hurry home to the den and lock yourself in. What the F is that? Are these guys here to beat the crap out of me? Oh god. Uh, what's the use? Don't like, don't like. Sweet little story, man. That was pretty cool. I'm paying more attention to to staying alive than listening to the narrator, so I might actually watch the video later myself. <laughs> 